Maybe gods and deities exist too from the Rokian's point of view. They fell from the sky, which is exactly how we showed up too. And we're certainly not gods by any stretch of the imagination, so the Morians may not have been either. Perhaps not, but you know, this world also has monsters from a demon world. There might be gods too. In all my time on Earth, I've never met any such things. Haha, <laughs> neither have I. Long ago, people associated things that they couldn't understand with supernatural phenomena. If something was beneficial to them, they associated it with gods. If something caused suffering, they associated it with demons. That's true. Basically, religion comes from concepts of salvation and the like. Right, even on Earth. Here's an example. In the European Middle Ages, there was a legend about a beast named Cerberus. Cerberus would suddenly appear from nowhere, let out a deafening roar, and burn an entire area in the blink of an eye. Do you know what this actually was? Dunno. Lightning. Interesting. I know that there are things we still don't understand. Actually, heraldry, was it? I was honestly surprised at Millie's powers, but I think that even they can be explained by science. <laughs> I see. So in other words, you're not so sure about what the king said. Is that funny? Not really. I get the feeling that if we just give up and start believing that supernatural phenomena exist, we will have lost. Yeah, we would never progress very far if that was all we did. And... And? I'm starting to feel that constantly telling myself that this was fate is the easy way out. Are you talking about your wife? Yeah. Nobody knew what caused the illness, so they couldn't help her with modern medicine. That's so tragic. Yes, and if it could have been cured by a spell or whatever from this planet... I'll probably continue to regret it for the rest of my life. For the rest of your life? But nobody could have done anything, Captain. I, I'm certain that we'll know for sure if we continue our journey ahead. So let's get some sleep for tonight. Right. <clears throat> Thanks, Iria. Okay. Uh, that's taken care of. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Yes. Do you remember what we need to do now? Yeah, I do. I remember. Then there's nothing to say. Yeah. Okay, but before we leave here, we're ac we can actually check out the castle now. Which is what we're going to do, because there's a bunch of stuff in there. A bunch of people to talk to. Some items to be found. And an interesting little scene. Oh, yeah. You may enter. Well, thanks. Yeah, okay, your buddy said that already. But anyway. Let's check out the castle, shall we? Gives much of that done in this episode. The Highlanders are the envy of all who study swordsmanship. Having natural born talent like them sure must be nice. Yeah, I'm sure it is. 
Do you know what talents are? I bet you do, but just in case, it refers to innate aptitudes or, or gifts that you're born with. Yep. Yep. I have heard rumors of a, of a mystical mirror that could create an exact copy of whatever it reflected. Huh. Interesting. So, they have a new weapon. Our kingdom doesn't have a definitive attack strategy either. If only we could break into the demon world. Hmm. Okay, anybody in here? Paintings that are imbued with spirit come to hold magical powers themselves, incidentally. Whenever I want something, I merely draw a picture of it. It's a lot easier than buying things. Wahaha! <laughs> yeah, that would be easier. That'd be pretty cool, actually. <laughs> anyway. Let's see what's going on over here, then. I don't want to burn them. Would you be able to start liking somebody if they sent you ten presents? You wouldn't be able to, huh? I don't think anybody would. I think what's most important is mutual understanding and the time you spend together. If only I had realized that sooner. That's a shame. Must be some kind of stalker or something going on. There is no way to freely open and close the entrance to the demon world from this side. The demon world side is a different story, though. Yeah, they do have an advantage there, that's for sure. <clears throat> okay. I'm skipping work. Don't tell anybody, okay? Okay. If you say so, buddy. Alright. Guess we'll go up here, see what's going on over here. Hmm. No, talk to him. Right now I'm wondering if I should customize this sword or not. It will wind up as junk if I mess up. You need a lot of courage if you want to customize your equipment. Yeah. What's in here? Huh. Looks like this is some kind of storage area. Here we go. This is the trial labyrinth. Okay, we don't want to be here. <laughs> Okay. Anyway. Alright. Let's go the other way then. See what's going on there. Up here. What do we got in this area? Oh, we got more directions to go. This castle is actually pretty large. Hmm. Nobody in here, I guess? Okay. We've gathered some information from monsters we've recently captured. Apparently, Asmodeus, king of the demon world, is constructing a weapon more horrifying than we could possibly imagine. That's nice. So when there was that explosion on the Moor continent, I was scared stiff, but they're calling it a completely unrelated incident. Yeah. Okay. Let's come on over here. See what's going on here. I'm doing research on the various races of people that exist. Apparently a race very similar to cats, referring to as Lesser Lowpool, exist even to this day. Oh, how I'd love to see a cat girl. We could actually see a cat girl. If I choose to. <laughs> anyway. Everybody has been so depressed and grim lately. I hate it. Yeah. That does kind of suck, but what can you do? That's how people roll. Okay, we'll come on up here. Hmm. Got some doors we can go down to. It looks like and there's some items down there. Oh yeah. 
That's what I'm talking about. We got Resurrect Mist. And we got Emerald Ring. Both good stuff. I think that Resurrect Mist can actually revive more than one character if they're close to one another. I think that's what that does, which is really nice. Yep. Good stuff. Emerald Ring. Oh yeah, reduces MP consumption. You, we, you definitely want to put that on Ronicus. Definitely. <laughs> oh yeah, good stuff. Well, this is a good place to leave off, I guess. So this is Lancer signing out. In the next episode, we'll finish exploring the castle, and then we will move on. So thanks guys for watching.